Hi, India. My name is Blaith Baird, and I'm an author and viral American spoken word poet. I am so honored to be associated with the Uman Foundation Trust because I'm endlessly inspired by and grateful for all of the amazing work that Uman has been doing to raise awareness for mental health. It is truly a pleasure to be able to play a part in giving voice to this sensitive but very, very important issue. Thank you so much for allowing me to be with you today. Even though my presence is digital, know that I am definitely there in spirit. So thank you so much. I'm going to be reading a poem from my book if my body could speak. The poem is called Relapse. Sometimes I miss being sick. The grimiest part of me wishes I had stayed in that familiar city of gray and mental illness and whatever the opposite of healing is, where there was nothing to laugh about but plenty to write about. I have considered myself to be recovered from my eating disorder for three years, but I still write about it in present tense. When a friend at dinner makes a casual comment on calories, the scoreboard in my head illuminates with numbers again. And for once, I don't want to write about this. For the first time, I am embarrassed instead of proud of all of the mad things I have done for happiness. Once, I cut a ribbon the size I wanted to be and wore it around my waist like a bracelet. Bathroom scales make me feel nostalgic like a scrapbook. I flip through snapshots of my sickness, the suppers of tobacco smoke and red lipstick, or how I used to pack my lunchbox with floss and teeth whitening strips. Sometimes I still paint my nails when I'm hungry. I can't eat until the polish is dry. I don't want to go into any more detail because what if you mistake this poem for an instruction manual? I don't know how to talk about the rabbit hole without accidentally inviting you to follow me down it. When recovery is not all yoga mats and tea and avocados, it is work. It is remembering that sucking on ice cubes does not count as supper body forgive me. It is not healthy to drink so much water that your body becomes a bathtub your organs float in like Lufa's body forgive me. Trying to ignore the caloric calculator in my head is like trying to ignore television subtitles and sometimes I just can't. Body, forgive me. Killing yourself slowly is still killing yourself. Wanting to die is not the same as wanting to come home. Recovery is hard work. Not wanting to die is hard work. Every time you asked if I was full, I heard you say fat, but I'm trying so hard not to do that. I am trying not to search for the nutrition label on the back of a birthday candle box. I am trying not to dab my pizza with a napkin. I am trying to stop doing things that don't make any sense. Body, forgive me. I am trying. I am trying. I am still trying. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, Uman. I hope you guys have an amazing day. All love.